Hey everybody, what's up? I am John Merritt from BornToProduce.com and in this lesson we're going to carry on with our series of replacement plugins for Cubase Elements, AI and LE users that are going to make Cubase a bit more like the artist or pro version. So in this lesson we're going to look at saturation and some distortion. Okay, so there's two plugins particularly that I want to talk about, free ones that you can download. But very quickly, first of all, I'm just going to say that there is actually a couple of saturation options for Elements users. If you bring up the channel settings and go to the channel strip, you'll find under saturation, you actually have tape saturation and tube saturation. So both of these can be used. Obviously you've got your drive knob there. Let's just give it a quick go. So you can overdrive things a bit and stuff like that. And it's okay, it's not too bad. Uh, you could use this on individual elements like the kick just for a little bit of warmth. You could use this on hats for just a little bit of overdrive and a bit of sparkle. Uh, but it's not exactly amazing either of the two saturations. So probably the best free saturation plugin comes from a company called Softube. And you can find their saturation knob by going to products, scroll all the way down, load more and then keep scrolling down and you'll find a saturation knob there which is completely free although don't think that that means it's easy to install i'm afraid it's not and i'm not actually going to go through the whole process of it because i've already done it twice in my life and seriously i've already lost all my hair so i don't want to go through it again it's kind of how bad it is uh, but what we all need to do is you'll need to uh, go to login actually sign up for an account once you've done that you'll then have to go to the iLock site sign up for an iLock account download the iLock software to your computer then once you've done that you'll have to take your id from your iLock account add it to your account on soft tube and then once it's done that it's got to download the plugin and then you have to authorize it on your computer before you can actually use it now i have to say that that description makes it sound easy it's really i can't believe it. it's just the most awkward process of installation but trust me i've done it twice you can do it too so once you've got the saturation knob installed and you've come back from hospital after a heart bypass you can then of course load it into your project so you go to soft tube and saturation knob Ta-da! And despite all the awkwardness of actually getting the thing installed and all of my sarcasm, uh, it is actually a not bad saturation plugin. It's not as good as some of the paid for saturation plugins like uh, Supercharger GT by Native Instruments, which I use all the time, but it's still not bad for free. It's really, really good. So let's have a little quick play just with a kick. So you've got uh, saturation type down here so you can keep it low, which means it's just going to really sort of add saturation to the low frequencies or you can keep it high. So if you want to add it to a hat sound or a snare just to really bring out the sizzle, you want to have it on keep high and just boost the saturation until you start to get that sparkle. And it is quite a nice plugin, no question about that. And this is a fairly good replacement for the Cubase Magneto 2, which I'll just very, very quickly show you, just so you know what it looks like. And I'd actually say it's a slightly warmer sound than Magneto, although it's not quite as controllable. So in Magneto, you've got the frequency range, so you can set it so you can only affect the high frequencies just to bring out the sizzle, uh, but it's absolutely fine. You've still got the dial down here to sort of focus on the frequencies that you want to saturate. So that's a really, really good quality saturation replacement for the ones that you have or have not got in Cubase. Okay, so here we are in another track. This is actually the track we made in the Electro House tutorial. And one of the things that I do show in the tutorial is actually on this weak leads group. Let me just solo that. So what I did in the tutorial was use Quadrifuzz, which is Cubase's multi-band saturator and or distortion plugin. And all we've got going on is basically a bit of distortion on the high end, on the high mids and the high frequencies of this particular sound. I'm just going to bypass it so you can hear what's going on. And all it's doing is adding a bit of presence and a little bit of grit to an otherwise sort of plain kind of sound. So obviously this plugin isn't actually available in Cubase Elements, AI or Pro. So I did go and find a different plugin, which is called HYMBD Drive. And you can find this multi-band distortion plugin on vstforfree.com. If you probably just Google uh, HY-MBD Drive, 
sorry, MB drive and look for it that way. It's probably the easiest way to find it. And you can simply download it here, nice and easy. You should learn from this soft tube. And once you've got it down and installed, got it in your door, obviously you can open it up and then we can start playing with it. And I've got to say, this is really simple and super effective. It's really, really quite a nice little plugin, especially considering it's free. So let's just sort of get the leads group in the same place as what we did with Quadrifuzz. And that's just using a bit of high drive, that's all. So let's just compare that against Quadrifuzz. And one bonus of this plugin is we've actually got a width dial on each of the frequency bands. So if you want to, you can just use it to mono the low frequencies. I know we haven't got any in this particular sound, but if you're using this on a bass or a kick or something like that, you can actually just mono the sub, which is quite handy. And on the highs, you could of course widen them a bit. And I have to say, I think that's pretty similar. to what you can get out of Quadrifuzz. And it's very, very simple to do. Obviously, and you played with the drive knob. Now, there are other types of distortion on here as well. So you can have lo-fi, clip, obviously, which is a bit more intense, full, which obviously is way more intense. And so on and so forth. And of course, you can affect the different bands as you wish, so the low frequencies, the mid frequencies, and the highs. It's a very, very nice little plugin, and it is Although simpler than Quadrifuzz, it is a really, really neat little replacement for those people who don't have Quadrifuzz. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Please do give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you loved it. In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at an alternative to Vary Audio, which is basically pitch correction for vocals in Cubase, which is only available in Cubase Pro. So for any other users, artists, elements, LE and AI, the next video is going to be really helpful for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one.